What's up, everybody? And boy, I will tell you, Pelosi and the squad are out for blood. They are attempting to impeach Donald Trump again. And Lindsey Graham is begging Joe Biden to order Pelosi to not impeach Donald Trump. And I believe that Lindsey Graham is correct. If you want to unite the country, let Trump just leave office and just let it die. Because right now you seem like you're being overzealous. The Democrats seem like they're out for blood and they've gone blind. Blind with hate. So let's read this from the Daily Mail. Lindsey Graham begs Joe Biden to order Nancy Pelosi to not impeach Donald Trump again. Warning, it will destroy the country even further. And he's not wrong. You want to create a political martyr? That's how you do it. People will use it as a rallying cry for a long time. Lindsey Graham has begged Joe Biden to call off a second impeachment, insisting that Donald Trump should be given credit for having made a helpful statement and pleading with Biden that the impeachment will destroy the country even further. And he's correct. It will. It will solidify the bases even further. We need the bases to be one base. Look, right now we've got the United States on two separate platforms and a nation divided. Abraham Lincoln, a house divided cannot stand. And we're divided. The South Carolina senator appeared on Sean Hannity's Fox News on Friday night, hours after the articles of impeachment were unveiled. House Democrats are planning to impeach Trump with a single impeachment article charging him with inciting incitement of insurrection. I don't know. Everything I saw says that he was a little a little angry and whatnot, and he called for his people to protest. So it's okay for Black Lives Matter to protest. It's okay for Antifa to protest. But conservatives cannot protest. And if you call the conservatives what they did a riot, then you also have to call what Antifa and what Black Lives Matter did a riot as well. Remember, logic. Logic is equally applied here on this channel. We are fair, but firm. So it's either a riot all the way around for all three groups, or it's not a riot all the way around for three groups. But never did I see Donald Trump call for any kind of violence. In fact, when it started getting uh, hectic and violent, he told them, we love you, but it's time for you to go home. And that's what he said. The move is on a hyper-fast track after Wednesday's Capitol riot, with the article set to be introduced Monday. Yeah, it is on a hyper-fast track, and, you know, it took months and months and months for the news to call BLM and Antifa uh, attacking people and deleting people off the planet to call them rioters. Conservatives do it, and right off the bat, it's a riot. It's a double standard, and, 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 and I don't like it. I'm not a, conserv I'm not a conservative. I'm, I'm a Democrat. I'm a moderate. Well, I'm a moderate Democrat. Well, no, I'm not. I'm homeless right now because I can't consider myself a Democrat, and I don't want to consider myself a Republican. I'm somewhere in the middle, a little bit of the left and a little bit of the right. I don't support Donald Trump. I support equal application of logic, equal, equal application of the law, and yet here I am constantly having to defend Trump because... Trump is constantly attacked for dumb things. Does he do dumb things? Yeah, absolutely. Does he say dumb things? Yeah, absolutely. But he didn't call for any violence. The move is on uh, a draft of the article prepared by rep representatives David uh, Ciceline, Ted Lieu, and Jamie Raskin states that, incited by Trump, a mob unlawfully breached the Capitol, injured law enforcement, menaced lawmakers and the vice president, and interfered with the count of electoral college. Okay, so let's convert this language right here into the same language that should have been using for the last six, seven months on all the rioting that was going around all across the United States. It should have been something such as incited by the Democrats and emboldened by the fact that the Democrats will bail them out of jail should they be arrested for any crimes whatsoever.
the Black Lives Matter uh, and Antifa unlawfully took land and held it for an extended period of time menaced law enforcement, injured law enforcement, deleted individuals off the face of the planet, and interfered with general life for everybody and caused millions of dollars of damage. It's all framing of a narrative. And here I am in the middle, looking left and looking right, and like, holy crap, the left hates me and the right hates me. Why? Because I call out both their shit. It's just right now it seems that the conservatives and the right are the ones that are like, they sat back and they watched and they worked within the bounds of the law as they were being lambasted, as they were being attacked. And then finally they snap and they do the same thing that Black Lives Matter has done and Antifa has done for the last bunch of months. And rather than the same treatment that the, the other protesters get, these protesters right away get taken down. Does that not strike you as weird? And I would call it out no matter what side was doing it. No matter what side was up. No matter what side was down. Graham, looking, shake, looking shaken, urged Biden to call his colleagues and tell them not to proceed. And then Biden responded, well, I don't have the power to do that. It's up to Congress. And Graham said, well, uh, actually, yes, you do have that power. I wanted President Trump to win so badly. Graham admitted. Now tonight, I am calling on President-elect Biden to pick up the phone and call Nancy Pelosi and the squad to end the second impeachment. President Trump gave a statement last night that was helpful. It hit the mark. He wants to move on to a peaceful transfer of power. He wants this to end. Yes, he wants this to end, and the Democrats don't want this to end. They are out for blood. And they are blinded by hatred. And there is no stop in sight. And you think this next four years of Joe Biden is going to be puppy dogs and rainbows? You are wrong. With majority control, the Democrats are going to be able to push things through pretty much carte blanche. And you think some of their policies aren't going to be crazy? You think in four years we're not going to look back and be like, wow, that was... That was a little crazy. Look at the policies they have. Look at them. Look at what they've done. Look at what they've implemented. Okay? Race-based national health care. Race-based national health care. Where if you have one old person who's white, one old person who's black, one old person who's Hispanic, the white person doesn't get health care because, as they said, quote-unquote, there's too many old white people and we need to level the playing field and let them die. Those are the policies that we're looking at. Are you okay with that? Look at your grandparents. Look at any old person that you have a soft spot in your heart for. Look at yourself. When you get old, if you don't have anybody that you care to love and you're selfish and you're one of those people like my brother... I'm a reptile. That's his moniker. Reptile, because reptiles don't cry. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sure, pal. Sure, pal. You're human. Humans have emotions. Therefore, if you're human and humans have emotions, then you too yourself have emotions. So what are you going to do? Hmm? What are you going to do? Graham. A regular golfing partner of the president's said he had spent the day with the increasingly isolated Trump, who since Wednesday has had two cabinet members and a series of officials resign in a disgust at his incitement of the rioters. And here we go, here we go, here we go. The framing of the narrative. They themselves say that Trump incited the rioters, but I don't see it. I see he incited people to come and protest. Well, the Democrats called for Antifa and Black Lives Matter to protest. They encouraged it. They bailed people who came out, who went to jail. The Democrats bailed out individuals who broke the law and went to jail. It's absurd, the double standard. 
And if you would take your political hat off and take a step back and look at it from a realistic perspective with logic in your head and your feelings pushed aside, you would look and you'd say, wow, that's weird. Democrats and leftists riot and cause millions and millions of dollars of damage and delete people off the face of the earth. And the Democrats will bail them out of jail, not call them rioters, give them every assistance in the world, but then the Democrats do the exact same thing for one day. And boy, the Democrats go out for blood. It's odd. Does it not look odd? Am I okay to say that it looks odd? Am I okay to call it out and be like, hey man, this looks like a total double standard. This looks like a total, hey, we can do it but you can't thing. Am I wrong? Let me know if I'm wrong. Speaking of letting me know if I'm wrong, you can help me out in my battle with YouTube and keeping my channel alive and give me a like or a comment or a subscribe if you so see fit. If you find anything that I've said interesting or even outrageous, as long as it has opened your ears and maybe informed you a little bit and made you step back and be like, hey, wait a second, let's look at things from a different perspective. Let's use logic and the same logic that we paint this subject with, we must also paint this subject with, otherwise we're not using equal logic. And I see logic and equal application of logic slipping by worse and worse every day. And an impeachment of Trump would just divide the country. How do they not see this? It would solidify a far right base and embolden the far left base. But then sometimes I wonder if that's what Pelosi wants because a radicalized left is going to be harder to stop when the radicalized left is the ones in control. Double standards. We can do it, but don't you dare do it. I don't know. Maybe I'm totally wrong on this. I just see that this is going to divide the country and I see that the Democrats have had carte blanche all along. People have been giving them passes and treating them with kit gloves. I'll tell you what, any party, any party that has complete control will have complete corruption. Whether it's Democrat, moderate, liberal, progressive, right, conservative, I don't care. Any group that owns and has full control of the government will go by the wayside. You watch. Anyways, I love you guys. You guys take care. I'll see you on the next one.